Hey everyone, how's it going? Got a video today of Castle Storm for the PlayStation Vita. I just got this from my friend Brian from the Vita Lounge. Uh, we're gonna do some multiplayer later, but not in this video. I'm gonna just show off single player and kind of what this game's about. Uh, it came out already on the Xbox 360, but it's finally making its journey to the PlayStation Network. So let's get into it. Um, first off, Let's just go into single player and see what there is in here. So you got the campaign, skirmish, survival, and hero survival. I've only done campaigns so far, so let's show that off. And we'll start from here. And it's pretty cool though, like, um, it's a real-time strategy type game, but you'll have to see. It's like a castle defense type, type game. It's hard to explain, but when you see it in action, right away you understand what's going on so so yeah but it's, it's a lot of fun I've played a good half hour or so and I'm really liking it I didn't know what to expect but I'm liking it <laughs> this is definitely one to keep on your radar all right so I have to defend my castle, and you use this little aimer and you can shoot stuff like this. And you can also spawn your army. You got archers, swordsmen, yes, stuff like that. And you, there is friendly fire though, which is kind of weird, but cool. Like. If you hit your own person with an arrow, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna kill him. Oh, maybe. And headshots obviously are better. You can get easy kills like that. But yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. But I've been liking it a lot so far. takes a bit of getting used to though so keep that in mind uh my base is gonna get hit uh, yeah i got him oh god this big thing is gonna destroy me <laughs> damn i get destroyed in this one Get some people spawned in there to hopefully distract them for a bit. Oh, they just got demolished. And you can also, I think, get your hero. Do I have my hero? Yep, I do. Spawn my hero. And here we go. Whoop. And obviously he does some good damage. You can block, you can pull out your own uh, arrow, bone arrow, by holding R. So this is a really good way to clear out a lot of people if like, you just saw me getting overrun like crazy. And it only lasts for a certain amount of time, so. I gotta get some more people going out there now. I gotta get rid of those cannon people. I don't think that's gonna hit anyone. Nope, totally just wasted that. Totally gonna get destroyed. Of course, I decided to choose a very difficult um, match to show you guys some gameplay. Oh, I missed. Can I? I need to get rid of these guys over here. Jesus. There we go. Yeah, I'm here. 
I'm gonna get rid of this. This damn ginormous bomb carrying guys piss me off. You can also block, which I'm not really doing, but you can hold the left trigger, which I did right at the end. Probably didn't really see it, but... Well, I get some people going, I guess. It's pretty cool, you can actually hit their things that they throw. I just killed my own teammate. I don't know if you saw that, but got an arrow right in his head. There we go. Helping that guy out there, and now he's dead. So that, that little aimer thing sometimes is hard to see, but other than that, I'm really liking the game. And it's a lot of strategy involved, so I just unlocked a spell, which I haven't used before, so that'd be interesting. But, but yeah, I actually did what I was supposed to. Don't let the enemy destroy any room in your castle was the bonus objective. And defend the capital, which obviously I did because I passed the mission. Uh, if I had better accuracy, though, I could have uh, got another star, and if I played on a harder difficulty, I could have uh, got another star as well. And it kind of shows some stats here for you about how good you were and whatnot. And yeah, you can upgrade your weapons, your heroes. Interesting. So I guess the spells are your, like, this is my that where I teleported that uh, main guy on there, the hero or whatever. So this is the same type. Interesting. Does a lot of damage, does 75, whereas he does 22, but he can be on the field much longer, so it's pretty interesting. And you can uh, level up your actual people, you can buy more rooms for your castle, and upgrade individual stuff like that arrow I was shooting, the multi-arrow thing and the ball with spikes on it and there's tons of stuff to unlock so and it's a lot of fun i feel like i've said that quite a lot and one of the other things you can do is you can edit your castle so right now that's that castle and then there's another castle and i think my own castle these are all the levels though so if you do like um, like a skirmish or your multiplayer thing, I believe you can use your own castle that you make, which is pretty cool. And you can edit it all you like. So I'll show you the editor real quick. So yeah, I mean, the game is really in depth. Uh, like, there's so much to do here. So yeah, I can move stuff around and just pick it up. I can move this wherever I want. I can change it if I don't like what that is. I can uh, turn it into something totally different. You know, it's pretty cool. And obviously it has to be green to set it there, but... But yeah, so if you want to make your own crazy castle, you can do a lot of stuff to that and you can test it save it load clear yeah there's a lot to do with that and it's all strategy so you want to keep your room safe because you put rooms in there that make it to where you can hold more soldiers uh, you can spawn other types of soldiers and stuff like that so depending on how you work that you can have a really good castle or just a really bad castle Yeah, that's a lot of Castle Storm. Uh, I'll probably upload some more videos. Uh, this game comes out this Tuesday on, I 
think it's the 5th? Yeah, the 5th of November. Uh, let me find the price. I just had it. I don't think it's too much, and I think it's, um, I believe it's a, uh, cross buy. So you won't have to worry about buying it on both systems, the PS3 and the Vita. So yeah, that's, uh, Castle Storm for the PlayStation Vita. I'd like to thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.